Hi there, my name is Dalton Ruer. I'm a Senior Solutions Architect here at Click. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how you can still utilize your extensions that you know and love, even in your SaaS environment. For those of you who aren't too familiar with what extensions are, they're simply ways to extend what ClickSense will do for your end users visually or in terms of functionality. In this case, I've got this super vital application here with all this completely made up sales data. And I have a normal out of the box button that says partial reload of data. Well, I, I, I can't possibly deal with my super vital application using my stale data. I want new data. And so as I press on this, you'll notice that there's really no visual indicator to me um, or my end users that that data is being reloaded. The button works. It absolutely does what I wanted it to do out of the box in that it will reload the data and it does in this case a partial reload. Well what I would like is something that's a little bit more visually appealing and informative for my end user. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this button. I, I don't I won't need that anymore and what I'm going to do is go to developer.click.com if you saw my API enablement video you'll, you'll know that we went into the documents and we looked at our APIs in this case we're going to go to the garden. The garden is where we're going to find projects that other people have put out there for me like ooh voice control, ooh, I, I need to make a quick note of that, I'm going to come back to that one and I can simply browse for extensions that are out there and available. In my case I'm going to want to add a reload button but ooh natural language insights Ooh, I could put NLG right in my app. Well, how am I going to have my super vital application if I don't have a nice chart explaining the values for my end users? He may not be data literate, so I'm glad I scrolled down because I, I obviously want this one. And so all we need to do to add this is we're going to go ahead and press this. And this will get us to GitHub where this project has been uploaded here from ARIA. I'm going to download that control and all I need is the zip file. I don't need to do anything fancy with this. And if I come back here, I can scroll down. There's one interesting thing about this particular control. This control will need to talk to their server. There are different extensions that do have callbacks to some functionality like this where it's doing natural language generation based on your data and I will need to add some content security policy soon. So I've taken note of these sites and what content security I need so that I can come back to those as I desire. Let me come back to the projects list. I'm going to search for a reload. I'm looking for a specific reload and you can see there's all kinds of notifications here. Maybe I want an extension that's really more for DevOps so that it can let me know if some reloads failed. Maybe I want an extension again where I'm going to drive ClickSense and reload applications. Well, the one I'm specifically looking for is this one called Tiny Reload because it is super neat the way that it visually fills in that circle to let the user know that things are happening and provides them some feedback. So all I need to do again is go to GitHub. I'm going to download this project. Now I need to come to my management console. And so you've seen before where I've demonstrated this, we're going to use this window, come to our management console, we're looking for extensions. I'm going to choose to add this tiny reload extension that we just downloaded. And all I do is point to the zip file for that, just like you would if you were in the management console for Windows. No problem there. And I'm also going to go ahead and add this ARIA an LG zip file that we loaded. 
I can now come back to my application. I'm going to go ahead and refresh so that it will know those extensions are available to me. I can come to my extensions, my custom objects extensions here, and you'll see that this tiny reload is available for me. And all I need to do here, I could fill this in like, hey, I'm going to do a partial reload for you. And under options, you'll notice I've got the ability to do a partial reload versus a full reload. Once I've added this, now I've simply replaced the functionality with something that is a little bit more visually appealing, does exactly the same thing as ClickSense could have done out of the box. This other functionality, this articulate NLG though, I'm going to go ahead and add, and I bring it in and it says, oh no, Dalton did it all wrong. Well, if you see messages like this, more often than not, it's because we did not establish content security policy for it. This extension needs to take the data values that I pass into it, send it to a server in a secure fashion, run some natural language generation, and then return that code to me. So I need to take care of that, again, in my management console. Notice that my Vislib extensions, which I never leave home without, also need some content security policy. So I'm going to add this. Well, now this is where I would need to utilize that text that I found in GitHub where I told myself what I needed here. And so this is Aria's BI. I'm going to give it that origin. And I need to make sure that this has a connect source and an image source. Each extension that you find should document these things for you. Now what I need to do, there's two more that I actually need, so I'm copying them from my notes. And I'm going to add one, I'm going to add them again, and this is my ARIA JX. And that one only needs connect source, which is nice. And I need to give it my website, or my URL I should say. And I'm going to take care of my last one here. Again, I need to give it the site. All this one needs is connect source. And now I've added that, and I should have security so that my SAS tenant will allow that callback to these sites with my data. If I choose not to as an administrator, clearly I don't have to allow that. But that's the great thing. If there's any type of a call out, it will need to be granted or it's not going to happen so that you don't have to worry about users just blindly installing things that likely aren't going to work. I'm going to come back to my application now that I've added the content security policy. I'm going to put this extension in again and notice this time it doesn't fail me. It lets me know that I can add a dimension. I'm going to choose country and for my measure, I'm just going to go ahead and choose total sales. Let me expand this box so you can see what we've got available. I am able to add multiple dimensions or multiple measures if I chose with this. You can also choose to create a custom narrative using their studio that is a paid service versus this service that's free. So I've simply got a very simple descriptive statistic analysis I want to have happen here and I can let them decide what they should show for me. If I want to have variances I can track variances as well. Um, I'm going to just do that. I'm going to say hey tell me everything you possibly can about that very simple high level metric. And if I generate the text for that now that chart is going to show up in my application. Five minutes ago, I 
didn't have the ability to give my end users feedback immediately that things are happening as it's reloaded because that reload could take more than just a few seconds. I also didn't have the ability to give them a natural language generation to roll up value so that they can analyze this. What I want to make sure that you see is as I select any values, notice that it is redoing that natural language generation. So you're still welcome to use extensions in your SAS tenants. The one thing that I do want to make sure that you're aware of is extensions like this or like Vizlib that need to call back to some other server. You have to manually set those up in the management council through your content security policy. But the beautiful thing is you can have an awful lot of fun and continue extending what ClickSense does even in SAS. Have a great day everybody.